Hey everybody, it's Gamerogi. We're back with a new LP. This time it's going to be Legend of Mana for the PlayStation 1. Oh, man. <laughs> Talk about games I have, haven't played in a very long time. Man, this one I probably haven't played in like around 15 years. But it was really fun back in the day. I used to play it with my brother because you could uh, play two-player co-op. It was really fun. A lot of people talk about Secret of Mana, and uh, I actually never played Secret of Mana, but I did play Legend of Mana. <laughs> so that's the one that always pops in my head when people mention Secret of Mana. I don't know if this is a sequel or, or what, but uh, it might be actually. Not, not really sure. Anywho, uh, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get into this. Select your character. So you can choose the lady or the dude. I'm just gonna be the dude. And then you're gonna choose a starting weapon. I think you can change your weapon. So this is just your yeah, starting weapon. Um man, lots of choices. This game has a really interesting combat system. And I'm probably gonna be really, really bad at it. But it's okay. Let's just do two-handed sword because uh, two-handed swords are he awesome. <laughs> uh, and then my name. All right, got some auto names. Rugger, Valkrist, Roy. Do Roy? Yeah, let's just do Roy. Okay. And now we have to select our play area. Another interesting thing about this game is uh, you will basically build the map yourself. Um, you collect little artifacts and you build up where all the levels are. And uh, actually, depending on their placement, you can unlock different, I guess, events uh, that maybe you wouldn't normally see. Um, I'm going to be following a little guide thing that I have open here. <laughs> So, so we can try to get as many events as possible. I hope, I hope this is going to work out. Like, when I played this as a kid, we, we didn't know anything about this map system at all. So hopefully this works out. We're going to choose this area right here. It's pretty much all land. Alright. And, uh, right now we only have this one artifact, this mailbox. Place the mailbox on the map, select a spot with the directional button, and press X. You may place the mailbox on the brightly colored areas. Thank you. Okay. I think we want... Uh... Two spots from the lower left corner of the map. Right here. And there we go. Now we have a home.
Nine centuries ago, the mana tree burned to ashes. The power of mana lived on inside mana stones, enchanted instruments, and artifacts. Sages fought with each other for control of these last remnants of mana. Then, after hundreds of years of war, as the power of mana began to wane, those who sought it grew seared. Uh, those who sought it grew scarce, and the world returned to peace. After that, mankind grew afraid to desire, their hearts filled with empty emotions, and grew estranged from my hands. They turned their eyes away from my infinite power and were troubled by their petty disputes. I guess this mana tree is talking to us right now. <laughs> Remember me. Need me. I can provide you with everything. I am love. Find me and walk beside me. Do mana tree. Okay. Have a cactus. Hello. Talk to him. Nothing. He's got nothing to say. Look how intricate this art style is, man. It's so fancy. Here's we have the cactus diaries. That'll come in a little bit later. I think if I remember right, this cactus dude records all our adventures on this cactus diary thing. Um, but right now he's not doing anything. So. <laughs> Whatever, cactus. Whatever. Oh, look at this fire. Wow. 100 Lucre. Too bad it's not Sucre, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. That's sugar. In Spanish, I think. <laughs> Hello. Okay. So here's are a bunch of books. I'm not gonna look through all these, but I guess as we meet characters and find monsters and stuff, it'll add to our many, many books. Information. It's useful. Okay. Uh, can't remember if they hid items around in like nooks. So probably just gonna be mindlessly wandering around, hitting the button to see if I can get anything. <laughs> I'm a Sproutling. The world can be shaped by your imagination. Did you know that? No. Pokiel, the poet, told me that the town of Domin uh, Domina exists because I think so. Uh, alright. <laughs> People say this world isn't an illusion, but the Sproutlings know. If you can't find Domina, use your imagination to find it. Here, use this. Artifact colored blocks. This is the town of Domina. Thanks, man. That's actually just a bunch of blocks, but appreciate it. So around our house we have a bunch of little dealios. This is the orchard. Um, I guess we're gonna grow grow things here eventually. And then back here, what do we have? Workshops. Okay. Ooh. We don't have any workshops yet. This is where they're gonna be. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a little cave, hobbit hole. Some really, there's some really good music in this game, actually. Probably gonna get content ID flagged out out the butt. Oh, monster corral. This is the part I remember a lot. You can uh, capture and raise monsters, and then use they like follow you around, and you can have them fight with you. Pretty cool. 
but yeah, can't do that yet. <laughs> All right, let's leave. Yeah. All righty. Press square to select an artifact. Whoop. Color blocks. Whoop. Okie dokie. So this has to be uh, right next to our home. Like, see the lit up blocks are only next to things we've already placed. So you really have to think about where you're going to be placing all this stuff. I think the farther away you place things from your origin, the harder the area is. Like, the enemies get harder the farther away you are. Uh, and also, there's all these mana things. See all those different little sprite dealios with the different uh, colored pizza pie? <laughs> this one, our home has one gnome and one uh, palm tree that I don't know the name of. And the one we're holding is going to increase the fire and earth of that one. So, yeah, it's... I, I think that's what those are. I, I don't really know the names of all these things right now. <laughs> but that's okay. So we're going to place this right here. And there we go. We got a town of Domina. Let's go. Ooh, what a nice map. I'm enormous. I'm Godzilla. Yeah, so this is how we get to the different areas. <laughs> hey. At least give me your name. Uh, Elazul? Dude, that's a cool name. He looks like a pretty cool dude. Jeez. He makes me sick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up with you, man? Onion face. I am Duel, Onion Warrior. Duel. My friend Tipo is in the shopkeeper's house. Meet me there if you want to talk. Okay. Is this the shopkeeper's house? Let's go. Well, you must be new around here. You're also pretty level-headed not following that guy into the tavern. My name is Duel. D Duel? Duel? <laughs> An onion warrior, as you can see. And over there is Tipo, the dove pot. Isn't she just dovely? <laughs> um, very dovely. I was just kidding. That was a bad pun. Yes, it was. What? You mean you didn't mean it? Um, I... Sure, I, I meant it. An adventurer, eh? You should at least get some bronze gloves at the shop. Don't forget to equip them. Hit the start button to make your preparations. Okay. Bronze gloves. I shall do this. Hello, Tipo. There was a scary bloke here just now. He said, I'm looking for me lost girlfriend. Have you seen her? So I says, no, I haven't. Oops. But there he said I was lying and he started threatening me. Maybe he was a stalker. Blimey. <laughs> sure. Alright. Ladies look best when we're a wee bit on the plump side. Gents go for lasses like me. Don't you forget it. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> Who are you? I thought getting Rachel a job would help cheer her up. But now I hardly get to see her anymore. Oh yeah. Let me give you this book about weapons, armor, and instruments. Look it over in your study and feel free to check out our shop. Ooh, thank you. Equipment Encyclopedia. What you got up there, bro? Eh, uh, 
teddy bear. Man, look how intricate this is. Jeez. How do you guys walk around? There's too much stuff. How many people are living here? <laughs> Items. What do you have? Oh. Okay, so we can buy other weapons here. Oh, there's a glove. Menos bronze glove. Do it. Done. It is done. Instruments, huh? Okay. There's a really weird looking statue right here. Okay. Anyway, let's equip that thing. Um. Pop, pop, pop. Armor. Equipo. Oh, jeez. This is mind boggling. Maybe I should just auto select. <laughs> Which one's the glove? Oh, whoops. Hey, that Menos glove was a weapon. Uh, okay. Well, I want to keep my sword. <laughs> whoops. I thought that was armor. Right on. It's all good, it's all good. Anyway, while we're in here, we might as well equip some uh, other stuff. We got some special techniques. Rising Crush. I think you have to equip this to something, otherwise you can't even use it. So, we're gonna do that. And also, uh, the ability system... I played a little bit before starting this video. Uh, I don't fully understand this, but I guess... Depending on your combination of abilities that you have set, you learn other abilities. And, uh, sometimes sp special techniques. So... I might have to look all that stuff up later, but I'm gonna go for lunge and defend. Nah, lunge is just you step forward a little bit and defend is blocking, obviously. So, uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. <laughs> I'm a Sproutling. Yes, you are. You got quite the fancy little leafy outfit there. Okay, let's go talk to uh, the guy that went in here. Hello. Silence. Do not interrupt. Speak up. Don't make me angry. What are you hiding? Um, she's not talking at all. What happened, man? A friend is missing. Uh, who? She wears a white dress and has long hair. She's like a sister to me. I'm worried. Uh, let's, let's go find her, man. Together? With me? But you mustn't. No. I would be grateful. What? Here. Ooh, we got a jade egg. So, what's this? It smells like pearl. Let's hurry. Okay. El Azul, welcome aboard. He's my partner. Uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go find his. Uh, sister-like girl. <laughs> um, this town is actually pretty big. Uh, I don't think we need to explore it all right now, so let's just head out and do this. Go find Pearl. Okay. Jade egg. Boop. Hmm, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Maybe we'll we'll go back and explore the town a bit more. Uh, I was just looking over this map that I'm going off of, and the Jade Egg is actually pretty far away from where we are right now. <laughs> it's supposed to be like way over here or something. So uh, we're gonna have to find some other artifacts to place. So let's go back in Domina and explore around some more.
feel kind of bad because I just took a... <laughs> this guy just joined my party now. Maybe I already screwed something up, I don't know. Hello! Please feel welcome! I'm Miss Yuka, keeper of this inn. Hello, Miss Yuka. You're awfully birdish. And here's a <laughs> guy with a turban on. You can save, you can switch to two player control. Nope. That's my little Pee Wee. He's quite fragile, so please leave him be. That was a nice rhyme. Pee Wee is a fragile little egg bird. Fragile little egg bird. There's gotta be something in here. There's gotta be. Aha! Bird meat? Oh my god. They're cannibals. What does this even do? Meat, food, secondary. Okay. <laughs> right on. I wonder if I can cook stuff. I don't know. Okay. Oh, can't go in there. Or read that sign. Right on. Ooh. Some nice music. Hello. Hey, watch this. My name's Capella, a wandering juggler. You're pretty good at that, Capella. Who are you? A baby? With a musical hat thing? <laughs> okay. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. <laughs> a baby? Uh, what in the world? Hello. Sure, a lot of animal people here. Here comes the cutest mail carrier. Watch out, boys. Bang. Oh, my lord. Stay in your homes. She's out for men. Hmm. I can't really seem to do a whole lot. Everybody's locking me out like I'm a stranger or something. Western End. Oh. This out of the village? Nope. Just a dead end, okay. I hope I can take on, like, other quests at the same time. I kind of just took this guy, so... <laughs> Alright, let's go up here. Hello. Everyone with a soul always disappears. We don't have souls, so we always stay. The poet Pokiel, or yeah, Pokiel said so. Poet Pokiel seems to know a whole lot. Well, I never. Just listen to this. My worthless husband tried to cheer up our daughter by sending her away to work. He should have just let her play with her friends, Tipo and Duel. 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 He's always doting over her, buying her everything. And have you seen how he made up her room? Why, it's disgusting. Oh, but Auntie does so much like your clothes. Very good taste. Auntie thinks you're the best. Oh, here, this is for you. Take this back to your place and check it out. An item encyclopedia. Ah, she must be the wife of that dude we met in the other house. Hello. Watch your fortune told? Uh, sure. Ten lucre. Uh, I'm saving for my retirement, so no less. <laughs> 
She's like a fruit basket lady. Okay. Vitamins, keratins, potassium fiber, polyphenol. Hmm, it says, revere thy ancestors. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> My name's Niccolo. I'm a traveling merchant. But the highway is full of bandits. It's too dangerous to leave the town, don't you think so? Ah, uh, nah. Oh, how brave of you. I can't do business with those highway, highway men or, or about. Jeez, can't read it all today. <laughs> Let's go teach those bandits a lesson. Once we're done, I'll make you rich. Okay. Say goodbye to that one. We won't get along. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> do as you will. See you later, man. You're quite a mercenary. I like people who know the value of money. Niccolo's business unusual. I still need to stop and see Tipo. Come with me. Okay, we'll go see Tipo. Let me just check out what else we got. Uh, can I go in here? Nope. Yeah. Nope. Hmm. Hey! Hi. Over here. What? I knew there was something different about you. Take me with you. Uh, no. <laughs> Dang it. Um, shoot. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There's so much stuff going on right now. I'm starting to think that any chance for 100% in this game is going down the drain very quickly. But it's okay. It's alright. We'll try to match this map and see what happens, I guess. <laughs> Hello, Tipo. It's Niccolo. Hello, Gov. How have you been? Have you got anything good for me today? Actually, I have a splendid item today, but I... Just can't let it go. Oi, Niccolo. You're just trying to rile me up. It's just junk anyway. Quiet, Onion. This is it. It's a wheel I picked up on the highway. Hmm. Looks like a regular old wheel to me. Fine. I'm going. You're right. It's just an old wheel. Nothing special. Hang on there, Gov. Even if I can't... Even if I can tell it ain't no regular wheel, I'll take it. How much do you want for it? 50,000 Lucre? Niccolo, you're a wee too proud for your own good. Nothing costs that much. It's truth. Bring me 50,000 Lucre. Until then, I'll let Roy use it. <laughs> yes. Niccolo, you're a bleeding worst. I'll cop the money, so please, let me have it. I'll be back. Bloody artless. <laughs> Bloody artless. I'm doing a terrible job reading that Tipo's voice, but that's fine. That's fine. We got a wheel. Can I use that? I sure can. Oh, yeah, I can. Let's do it. Out we go. Right, the wheel goes right over here. Yeah, right over here. And I love how these little places transform. It's so fancy. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the Luan Highway.
There's a little, uh, dancing plant here. Hello. Let's see, you're that stranger I met in Domino. Your name's, uh, Chumpy, right? Uh, nope. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. Let me tell you some things to help in your battles. What do you want to know? Uh, actually, nothing. I read all through all that stuff already. <laughs> well then, my word. Okay, uh, actually, I think I'm just going to end it here, guys. Next time, we'll take Niccolo with us and take out the bandits of Luan Highway. Hopefully, I don't screw it up big time. See you guys later.